Uh, we've done already a reaction both on TikTok and on YouTube for both the trailers. Um, so that's exciting. That's going to be cool. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. For starters, if you haven't seen my reaction video on YouTube, please go do so. But I will tell you right now, this is probably the most gorgeous looking Mortal Kombat there is right now. Um, it has a bit of the MK11 slash MK9 uh, aesthetic going on. MK9 being this more of like really colorful and MK11 with like animations. Um, and I really like this. I really like what they're doing with Katana. I really like where they're going with Sub-Zero. So we did get to see obviously a little bit of what was happening on the stage. But if people went to the Summer Games Fest, they actually got a hands-on preview um, of course, because it's a Summer Games Festival, right? Um, so these were the four characters. You have Sub-Zero, Kenshi, uh, Kitana, and Liu Kang. So those are the four. And then if I'm not mistaken, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight times three, that's I think 24. So it looks like we're going to get a base roster of, of the main, main, main roster that you can actually like pick is going to be... Um, the uh main roster for now so 24 characters is what it's looking like that we're gonna start off with not counting like shang that will be dlc right so something to keep in mind about as we uh watch this today um is that that that's our that's like the base roster i think that that's a really solid roster especially because this is going to be a new game that we're going to be like seeing i'm really happy that uh kenshi's back i'm extremely happy about it um he also looks gorgeous like i'm i'm of the the kenshi is husbando train low-key so very happy and katana i'm glad that they brought back her long hair in the crypt dude was bones nah he came back he he, he he's 100 percent back so let's go go ahead and uh check it out here Sub zero <laughs> So right away already, we can see how the cameos look. By the looks of it, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have 16 cameos that will probably be the start. So 24 plus 16, that's a pretty extensive roster, given that um also the the, the cameos are pretty, pretty significant. Also, I see Jax is like classic Jax, meaning that he actually still has uh, his arms here as well. Darcy, hi Atticus. So they're called uh cameos, but with a K, because you know that's what Mortal Kombat does. They turn everything from a C to a K. Yeah, exactly what Atticus say. Um, so yeah, so we have um, it looks like it's gonna be sixteen cameos. Um, we have so far it's been confirmed that we have Kano, Sonia, and Jax. What I really like about this, first off, what I really like is that the Sonya that they're using is not the same Sonya as uh as MK11 which I'm really happy about. What it looks like is that these cameos are taking like so cameos you have your main roster which is I'm going to assume it's going to be Liu Kang's like era and then the cameo is the different eras of the fighters. So for example, Sub-Zero and Scorpion they're all like in the cameos, but they're from different versions of them. Cameos are not meant to be main fighters. However, something that I was reading from Sonic Fox's tweet is that cameos make up the game, meaning that it's very integral to the game. So like you have Sub-Zero as the main fighter, but you cannot select him as a cameo. No, so Ed Boon did confirm that you can have like a double Sub-Zero. It, it, it does not matter. Uh, some cameos are also in the main roster, but the only ones we know for sure, are, yeah, exactly, are Sub, Scorpion, and Kung Lao um, that are both playable. Um, but so, if the main character dies, it is game over. So cameos are going to be important because of the fact that they are um, integral to the defensive system, from what I understand, which we'll probably see here today, um, as well as... Um, into your offensive plan which is like your combos and things like that yeah so they really went back to the selection of mkx and injustice which i excuse me which i really like i like that i like that the combos are actually looking like they really tackled on like hey 
um mk11 you had your chance to be like optimal all the time now you need to get like really really swaggy here sonya blade <laughs> kano Cage oh mansion. real quick hold on, hold on. Cage man so right here it looks like there's going to be two versions of the stages as well so we have a day and it looks like it's going to be either um a rainy or a night day depending on where it is i think in mkx is where we saw the different versions of maps but i love that that's there because that allows like differences in the maps compared to when like mk11 where we had like the same map over and over again Cage mansion living in your sister's shadow wastes your potential it is my duty and privilege to serve her this was originally thought to be clash and even in my youtube reaction i'm like oh they brought back clashes but no it looks like this is what the intros are for when you start and load the match um excuse me what i really like about this if we go back just a couple of frames it also shows here that melina is the elder sister and she's actually the one that's on the throne compared to katana who's the younger sister and i was talking about this on uh twitter actually um Liu Kang's ideal vision of the new era was never to put Katana as Khan. And I think he knew that it was such a stress for her because she never wanted that. She only just wanted her homeland, right? Instead, he he was like instead he was like very much like Melina like he he probably understood that Melina in katana for them to exist they needed to be sisters still but that there was never a doubt that melina was like the lesser instead that katana was more of that supporting and i love that in this new era despite the disease of her tarkadan teeth and stuff Liu kang's like i'm going to give the throne to uh to melina but I want them to actually like try to get along. Um, so arcade endings are not canon except for uh Liu Kang. So the only thing that is canon, uh Blitzo, uh, is uh MK11's aftermath story and it's Liu Kang's side. That's so far what's been confirmed canon. Yeah, so Katana is serving as like uh, Melina's right hand woman, which is really awesome. Um, I know people thought that they were, like Melina was the bodyguard, but I think that that's what's really cool about this is that like that's like they did not like if you really think about it, because a lot of people are like, oh, Liu Kang's perfect world. Where's the Tarkadans? Where's uh Koro? Where's all of these people? But Liu Kang knew that they were very much an integral part and i love that for at least like for melina and katana uh they were meant to be like he, like he didn't just say fuck melina katana is the only real one he literally said like you both need to be together and jade isn't katana's bodyguard jade is uh, a countess but I feel like that that's that's fine because Jade is Jade has always been like she's just loyal, and once she gets to know you, she'll be loyal. Exactly, Atticus, and that's also an integral part too. It's the fact that she's not just a scion like a creation. Because if you notice, throughout her whole life, she actually questions like, like, part of her reason why she gets like super angry is people don't take her except for like an abomination and she doesn't want to be that way she just wants to get be given what is hers which is a place in the throne lin kuei is the old sub-zero so lin kuei is sub-zero's clan and the shri ryu is scorpion's clan um the lin kuei um has changed her drastically i'm not sure how this looks here for 
Sub-Zero and Scorpion because it's been confirmed that they're brothers. I'm hoping too that she's a main roster, but there's a chance that she might be a cameo. It's not the end of the world if she is, but... His sub is Bihan or the other name Kwai Liang? Uh, that's actually a good question. We don't know that, Atticus, actually. Oh, okay, that's why we do these videos and we talk about it through this. This will all probably go up on YouTube, by the way, after we're done. So, Darcy, that's the curious thing that I'm, like, questioning. Because part of MK11 Sindel is that, um is that, like, they changed her to be from this benevolent, like, mother to, like, the badass bitch that she is, right? I'm wondering how that gets affected here, because technically speaking, if, if they didn't want her to be this, like, bad character, they would have to introduce Shao Kahn for her to be, like, the bad guy, unless she's genuinely still, like, a power-hungry ruler and she just it hasn't been discovered that that she's that way yet but i also know again that Liu kang knew what katana wants because remember Liu kang's the only one that has memories of everybody everyone else has like is like brand new they've been reincarnated and everything so Liu kang's the only one that will remember that katana has these feelings like she's been through shit i think that when we look at Shang Tsung's role, Shang Tsung's the one that's gonna bring these uh characters. Yeah, Liu Kang is a god right now. So it looks like there's an interaction where Liu Kang says your action costs lives, Bihan. So yeah, it is confirmed to be Bihan in uh in uh in there. So Onaga in the uh Mortal Kombat Armageddon is the uh ultimate like dragon. And was defeated by Liu Kang, where at which point Liu Kang received his dragon powers. So the dragon powers that you see um, in MK, I think it's 9 and 10 and 11 from Liu Kang, comes from uh, Onaga and Liu Kang being absorbing the uh, Onaga's powers. And then uh, because Liu Kang is now a god, it's because he absorbed... Uh, oh, Raiden's lightning powers as well. All right, let's keep watching. Your shadow wastes your potential. It is my duty and privilege to serve her. <laughs> okay, yep. So this is really cool because this fits. Uh, if you look right here, real quick, look how smooth this was, right? So remember that the PS5, if you're on the SSD, or if you have an SSD installed, is going to be a very much a fast loading speed, right? Look how smooth this is, and this is one of the reasons why they're on the PS5 console. To serve her, they're here. Push back, and there your intro starts. Round one, fight. Okay. Real quick, we gotta dissect. We, we're dissecting everything. Every single thing. So, these are your intros, right? Run. Look at this. That's MK9 aesthetic. That is MK9 aesthetic, which is so cool. I love that. So, right here off the bat, something I just noticed. This might be a bug in the game uh, at the moment. Both players will start off with one bar of meter at the bottom but if you look here sub-zero gets a hit in unless it was a counter hit we'll probably to keep this in mind so someone like write this down a counter hit he got a second bar of meter here right you have your life bar up here right and you have sonia with it looks like r1 is sonia and r1 is uh yeah R1's your cameo, so Kano's up here. Um, you it looks like too. As you get hit, you're getting defense, you're getting meter as well. Or first hit props is back. That's true, Kaza. That's true. Let's watch that again. Let's watch this again again. Round one, fight. 
Yeah, that's a counter. Also, so it looks like you're gaining meter off of offense. And if you get hit, you're getting meter off of, of getting hit as well. This is very similar to Strive, where in Strive, if you're blocking or you're getting hit, you do get meter back. I think the question will become like, how much bar do you get or you'll have if you get hit? Um, obviously, the first hits props is something to keep in mind. Yeah, breakaway. So breakaway is flawed portion is the fact that it does not reset neutral it leaves you either vulnerable on wake up or if it was done mid combo you're forced to get hit pretty much like the player can easily interrupt your combo strings because of it and i feel like if we look back at it that's what that's like the problem that was breakaway is that it just didn't reset neutral like it was a good mechanic until the neutral part all right, <coughs> let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Does she counter hit him? Hold on. That's a down one. Yeah, so it looks like if that's not a bug, Kaza, that's first hit props. That was, I. that might be that first hit props are back. Because that bar came back. Wait, what was that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Yo, 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 yo. Look at this. Okay, so Kitana, I'm gonna try to slow this down. Hold on. I'm gonna mute this real quick. Kitana wakes up. Kano comes out. He puts the buff. I think he put his red thing on, right? What did that do? Katana comes up. Oh, it's armor. That's an armor. He got hit on the on the kick because he was still in recovery. Yeah. So okay. So K one of Kano's abilities is that he brings out armor. Let's uh let's play it back regular speed again. Oh, that's so gorgeous. That's awesome. Like this entire sequence here. So we go back here, right? Down one. That's probably a special move. Look how cool that is. Also, delay animations are back as well. Delay animations are back. You think that's the flawless block? I don't think so, anime. I don't think so because it's, it's uh, it was an armor move, and he didn't do a a thing like he didn't do any like like that. I think it's actually a Kano buff, if I'm not mistaken, because if you if you look back here, right? Down one, he turns it on. So, so. And then delay wake up here is also. So this is interesting because delay wake up's back. So that's going to be a fun time. Stop. What is this? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Just with different names, that I see. What is this bullshit? <laughs> Bro, what is this? What is this bullshit? <laughs> Kato's gonna be the most broken cameo. I'm calling it now. <laughs> by this right she'll get hit by this look at how much that's three hits and look at the amount of hit stun she is she was in like what is that <laughs> oh my god bro i can't
that ring stood that so that tells me that that's so right here in this let me let me pull the playbacks again if we go back hold on let me do let me do point five Yeah, every time you get hit, you're getting that bar back. That's a restand. And that is definitely a plus on hit situation. That is definitely a plus on hit situation right there. All right, let's see. Oh, 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 wait, 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 right here, right here, right here. Hold on. This was, this was crucial. Yes, absolutely, Atticus. We'll be here for, you know, our usual time, so no worries. All right, so, plus on hey. Okay, that was a punish. That was a trade, I think. I just need to see how this how that breaker works. So Kano comes in. I think there was three bars. So it looks like you need three bars to break. Which is why as you're getting hit, you're earning all of that meter back. So you could get the break. So that's why that's why. So you need three bars to use your breaker in order to be able to do that. Yeah, it's an assist breaker. So this is the new, like, reset neutral. Hi, Tiffany. Yeah, so you need the three bars and the cameo to break away. Or not break away, but to actually get the breaker out. And it resets neutral. I do, I am curious, that what does, uh, okay, yeah. So this just resets neutral completely. This is something that a lot of MK11 players were hoping for. Uh, I think uh, I think MKX and Injustice 2 had this, where they were having breakers, so yeah. So they said there's going to be a mode that doesn't have to use uh, cameos. How do breakers work on that? That's something that we'll have to see. From what I was reading on Twitter, even though that there won't be like even though that might be the case um um bucker um the they mentioned that cameos is going to be a, a majority thing so i i think actually anime it will be like th they've made it clear at least to the players on on this particular um playthrough uh or invite is that uh cameos are very much an integral part in the game so meaning that it is like that mode is going to be similar to like how the arcade like tower mode was. So um we would have to see but I know for this particular like for this setup here, right? Like for what they did at the Summer Games Festival, um they were testing just like how the game system is. Yeah. Yeah, it's just probably a fun mode. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, who was it? I don't I don't know if it was True Underdog or if it was Rufo Monger, but um, cameos is as integral as the drive impact systems. Will cameos affect the main roster at all? Uh, you might have to clarify on that one, just because uh, it it it, I'm not too sure what you mean by that one. Is it Garrus? Oh, I hope it's not Karis. Please don't bring that character back. With the way the camera is dynamic and fluidly moving with the characters in the air, um, all that mixed with how heavy the look. Does anyone get a Killer Instinct vibe? Yes. Yes. That's something that I also thought back as well. Oh, Calamity. So in that regards, no. It actually means that they both characters can be a cameo and they can be in the main roster. What you'll probably see is an older version of Air Mac and then a newer version of Air Mac. Or vice versa. But it does not mean that one is without the other. Oh my god, I hope to God Cetrion is not coming back. Yeah, and you can have the same character as the two as well. It's just in this one, they did not do that. Or at least in this build. Alright, we go again. 
Let's check out the rest of this. Oh, oh! Wait, 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 wait! There was the flawless block! Enemy, enemy, enemy! There was the flawless block! Look, 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 look! Right there, it happened! Yeah! Yeah, like that! So it is an armor anime! That is Kano's armor! That he put on Sub-Zero! And let's look at that flawless block a real quick as well. Jump. Yeah. So flawless block, you won't you're not gonna be able to do anything about it. So it's the same sound. The only difference is, and I'm pointing like that, you're seeing where I'm pointing. But up here, she didn't get chip damage. So I it leads me to assume. That the flawless block is just truly like to avoid chip damage situation. Yeah, exactly, Lion, exactly. Whoever designed Scorpion and Sub Zero's costume. Oh, they look amazing. Amazing. There's a lot that's like probably changing just to help with like keep Blue Kang's world perfect. <laughs> jump Bro, what was that jump one? Wait, what was that jump one? Stop! Stop! They actually made Katana's jump one actually viable? Flawless block. Jump in. Bro! Bro! <laughs> they actually made her viable! <laughs> they actually yo that jump one act and that's like pretty plus because if we look at what's gonna come next right let's look at this yeah oh wait fatal blow wait 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 yeah that's definitely plus delayed you mistimed your meaty what happens yeah, 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 yeah. I already see. I already see what's gonna happen here. I already see what's gonna happen here. So we're gonna look at this from the very beginning, real quick. We're gonna look at this from the very. <laughs> I already see. You know the commentator head. This is how you know I've been commentating a lot of Mortal Kombat. I already know how players are gonna think of. All right. I already know what the players are gonna do here. Easily, easily. Cause listen, commentator brain. First off. Definitely confirm Fatal Blows are back. 30% it looks like. So let's go ahead and check it out here. So Katana jumps in. That is plus. So she's going to do her special here because that's the Adinian twirl. Going to get the air combo. Drops. Delay. And a, an actual player would have woke up buttons. Would have 100% do a 2-1-2 combo and would have messed you up. Because of that delay. Easily. Also, again, uh, Fatal Blow under the 30% mark as well. Did the knee or the fan connect? We can look at that again. Hold on real quick. Uh, Wallace Block here. So she did jump one. It was the fan. So I think this might be her uh, either forward two or back two. If I'm if I'm like familiar with with if like if they're the same buttons, and then she did her high kick. This is a special move for sure. Goes up, does jump two, probably gets a knockdown, and then right there would have one hundred percent have woke up buttons. Would have one hundred percent have done that. Down one. You cannot have Round it. two, fight! Is that like an ice punch? Oh shoot! Did you see that? Did you see that that was like a, a launcher? Wait, 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 wait. Let's go back. Also, hi, Jacob. Yeah, absolutely, Darcy. That's how we've all started, to be honest. Nobody becomes like a godlike content creator, like, right away. So I kind of want to go back here real quick. 
So it resets. That's that is crazy. He throws out a punch. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be 30% uh, calamity. That's the percentage. Sub-Zero pushes. Summons. Oh, well, if you notice, as the assist was called, Kano moves. It is so really interesting. And then we'll unleash the daggers. The daggers look like they're a high. Sub-Zero comes in. That's a down one. Sonya comes out, gets yeeted. What is this grab range? Wait, what is that grab range? <gasps> what was that grab range? So this was plus on a hit, pushes back, Sonia comes out, grabs you, and then the combo continues. That's crazy. Jump kick. Okay, this is actually a good example of what not to do. Right? If you if you get down and you try to spam it, like it's going to whiff completely. Like, this This makes sense. This should whiff completely. He was in hit stun for a minute. Oh, she whipped that. Okay. Grab. So, grabs, if you notice, because Sonya here, because she uses... Hold on. Let's actually look at that meter management real quick. Because this is actually a good question. Because I think in BB tag, you have to like, you have a, you have like a certain amount of bar. Let's look at this real quick. So we see, um, let's actually take from the beginning here, right? This is the start. We see that her bar is full up here, right? She blocks. Down one. Does the combo. So that takes about, I want to say, 50%, give or take. So when she brings out Sonia for that specific move, it's 50%. Sonia is still able to be activated, I think. Yeah, because she's not on cooldown. She's regaining meter up here, brings up. She's already. That bar is going really fast for assists. Okay, right here, right, right, right there, right there. So Sonia is now on cooldown once the circle, um, I don't know if you're able to see it like really clear, but Sonia is actually now on cooldown when she's on this like this amount of bar, right? So with that in mind, Sonia can't come out anymore. Down one, she grabs, but it looks like the cameos are part of the grab animation. I think they use a specific amount of meter. We can keep looking at that as we're doing as we're doing that. So now we know that there's a certain amount where the cameos become on cooldown. So that's something to keep note. Grabs cameos are part of uh the um are part of the the animation on the throw as you see here. <laughs> Jump one. Oh, so it's not called forward, uh, forward throw or throw tech anymore. It actually says what direction you escape from. I just want to see here. Let me see something. Okay. Oh. 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 This is yo. This is like melty blood. This is like melty blood. This is a melty blood thing. 
In Melty, people don't know this because most people don't explain this. In Melty, when you throw tech, if you're the one that gets the tech, you are the one that's plus, right? If you're able to successfully get the throw tech, you are plus. And that's what happened here. Look, she's already advancing and he's still in the stun. He's still in the stun. Watch this again. Your plus that's that's gonna be so big brain because th that's what makes so for me that's what makes Melty really exciting because Melty exactly calamity shift Melty really punishes you for making the wrong choice so check this out. okay comes through down one grabs whatever oh let's let's move it forward here. Throw tech pushes back. Yeah, look, she's all she's she is like already in. She can move forward, she can definitely move forward. He can't, he can absolutely, yeah, exactly. Throw tech into the assist. Honestly, why not? Why not? That would be that would be a big brain play. That would definitely be a big brain play. She sets up here, which is something that I found interesting. That is definitely an armor. That is 100% the armor. Yeah, you're dead. Finish him. Fatality. So you can do either by yourself or with the My ancestors say they've tangled with yours. Has it occurred to you to ask them why? God, first of all, first of all, hold up. Fucking god damn. Oh, really? Okay, we'll check it out in a second. Like this fucking man right here is fucking gorgeous, okay? Gorgeous, like I, <laughs> Kenji, Kenji is husbando. Kenji's one hundred percent husbando. Like Kenji, yes, Kenji for sure, absolutely, one thousand percent can tap it every single day if he so choose. <laughs> oh, all right, let's look. Oh yeah. Kenshi sold the definitely sold the Why? world premiere. Kenshi and Jack. Round one. Fight. So the armor doesn't touch here his legs. He puts Oh son of a bitch. He keeps the spear from the opening sequence. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't even tell you their calamity shift. That's I think that was like down four. And then That's a that's a fucking ice armor. That's an ice armor. Ah. Yeah, that was 
unfatable. Okay, so I do want to mention really quick. I do want to mention that the people at IGN don't know how to play a fighting game. Smile. Um, so, uh, cause the reason I know this is because it's already been confirmed that Kenshi's sort of like the puppet character, um, <laughs> in, in, uh, in, uh, MK1. Um, so that's number one. And number two, uh, I can already see why they went, cause I, like the fatal blow's like gone. So this is 100% a fatal blow. So something else too that I saw that I heard, right? So we know fatal blow. Fatal blow. This is what they mean by when the screen flashes. So yeah, yeah. So oh, oh, they fixed this because this was the other issue about fatal blow. Exactly. Exactly. This is was the other issue about the fatal blow. The screen flashed. In MK11, fatal blow happened so very fast that you would be caught off guard. But here, that's not the case anymore. In fact, it actually flashes here. So it summons, grabs, screen flashes, and then you still have the armor but he was able to mash exactly so you would be mashing at your own risk you can still like you can still block it three fifty was around the same same uh, amount as the expect uh, the unexpected uh, a normal fatal One second. These the stage musics are different. They they brought it back music to MK. They brought back music to MK. L listen, let me see if I can raise it up for you. Listen very very closely, in in uh in here. That's the LA And then here, listen to here in the in the tea, tea, tea house. Round two. Fight. They brought back I I think they brought back a good soundtrack. I really think they brought back a godlike soundtrack. I, I'm hearing it now as we're like look at that beat drop here. Let me see if we get it again. Yeah, you, oh my gosh, everybody try to put your headset super loud because it's actually like a solid beat drop. Expect the unexpected. Round two. Fight. That this one might be my favorite song because of that beat drop. That's that is so cool. They, I think they actually brought back like really good songs for the stages. There's that puppet, so this is a stance. Yep. That was definitely a stance. Oh, you blocked. That's going to be a brutality.
that's gonna be a brutality. This right here, you can actually brutality. He, they just didn't know how to do it. Finish him. That was a pretty sick Living attack. in your sister's shadow wastes your potential. It is my duty and privilege to serve her. Round one, fight! gonna suck at that whiffs. Look at that again. Look at that again. Yeah, that's gonna suck. <laughs> that move is gonna be ass. <laughs> There's always one move for Katana. Yeah, Melina's technically a ruler uh, anime. There's always that one move. <laughs> that would have been a huge whiff punish for sure if the IGN person knew how to play. That would have been a really huge whiff punish, but that right there is sucks. <laughs> that move sucks. Oh, Lord. Uh. I do want to check something. Hold on. I was actually going to like actually ask that. Hold on one second. So. No. So. Zero. No, they're not. They're not. Those are complete fighters. Those are complete fighters. Because if if it was, you would have seen it here. Sub zero. Those are one hundred percent complete fighters. Uh, where we're here. <laughs> That is crazy that that moves with. Not even like tripping, it just whiffs completely. Yeah, right? Doesn't even look like it lasts long. This is a CPU, so... Why... Why did she not get hit by that? What did she use here? What did she use there? Sonic Fox posted it. It's the up two. It's the up two. That's why it has that animation. It's the up two. Was she blocking? Let me look at that again. I think she might have been blocking. And that's where she got it. Yeah, that might be what it was. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
I will freeze your soul. Round two. Fight. <laughs> By themselves too. Your war on the underworld is taking innocent lives. Am I to blame for my enemy's wanton violence? I've heard that Kenshi's Yakuza, which... Ooh. Ooh, you already know. <laughs> Round one. Fight! <gasps> I think that's his new bicycle kick. I saw something. I saw something that already kind of makes me eh. Right there. Right there. They brought back that fucking button, man. That is a side switch. That is the... The L2. That nobody uses! <laughs> they brought that back. That's what happened there. That is, that was, I 100% I bet you that's an L2. That is an L2 right there. The stress test more than likely is going to allow online uh, capabilities, but that will be the only thing that will be available on the build. So the stress test is purely online to test the servers. It is not meant for you to go in the lab. It's not meant for you to explore the other modes. It is strictly for online. So they'll probably give us this build, but without the ability to be in training mode or anything like that. It is just strictly in the online section. Neither was Melina. Melina wasn't in this build either. He's still saying he's the chosen one. Oh, you can grab. Why did that have such a... Oh. Why was that grab, like, long? on it didn't go back to that grab yeah there's the grab cameo Grabs. 
So cameos, you can use the graph for your cameos. But why was that such a long, that's like, that's like two seconds. That's like two seconds. Huh, interesting. I, I actually like his moveset. That was actually like really, really solid gameplay. I, I'm excited. September can't come fast enough. It really can't. It really, really can't. <laughs>